We play a little game of If You Only Knew. Whoa. I throw, that's whoa, scary. I like that, whoa. Whoa. Go ahead. Who was your childhood celebrity crush? Clark Gable. Secret talent. Singing in the shower. Guilty pleasure. Not looking at the price tag and buying it anyway. Weirdest job you ever had? Sitting opposite you. Who would you trade places with for a day? Not anyone. What film could you watch over and over again? The Artist. Most important documentarian right now? Probably Alex Gibney. Well, something you wish you were better at? Staying alive long. What never fails to make you laugh? <laughs> My dog. What kind? A rescue dog. Bogey. Named after you know who. When was the last time you were starstruck? It's hard to starstruck me. Never. Nothing, no, people don't scare me. I know what's inside. Something on your bucket list. I hate that expression, bucket list. Yeah? I hate it. Yeah, Every because... day of my life since I was 16, I've had a bucket list. Best compliment you ever got? Your documentary made me think. Strangest fan encounter. <laughs> okay, you ready for this one? I, I, there's a story in my book about uh, a husband and a wife who've been married for a long, long time. It's fictional. And uh, they decide to have separate bedrooms because she has these menopausal sweats all night and he has prostate issues and he pees all night. So he keeps her up by going to the bathroom and the creaking boards and she keeps him up because she throws the blankets off because she's hot. Okay, so now no one has mentioned that story. It's not a whatever. Some woman, <laughs> some woman at a book signing comes over to me and she says, can we talk honestly? I said, yeah, sure. Yeah, what's it about? She said, I don't want to sleep in the same bed as my husband. And I, she's got the book and I, and, and I said, oh, well, why don't you tell him? She said, well, I, I'm afraid to tell him. I'm afraid he won't love me anymore. And I don't want to sleep with him anymore either. And I don't want to be with him anymore. I want to, I want to just like have dinner with him, go to the movies, but I don't want to be in the bed with him. And I said, well, well, can't you just tell him? She said, no. I said, how long have you been married? She said, I've been married for like 40 years. I said, just tell him, just tell him. Here's my telephone number, call me. So about three weeks later, my cell phone rings. I don't remember the name, the woman. She says, I'm the lady you met in, it was actually in Stockbridge. I'm the lady you met in, in Stockbridge, Berkshires. And she said, I want you to know it worked. I said, what did you do? She said, I did exactly what you told him. I said, it's not his name. I said, Charlie, we've been married for 40 years, Charlie. And you know what? I want my own bed. And you know what he said? He said, you know what, Rosie? I want my own bed also. That was just so great. You see, I'm like a Dr. Ruth in addition yeah, to everything very else. Good. Yeah, it's a good story, right? True. Absolutely true. You learn true. a lot from it. Yeah, you learn a lot. Ask. You learn yeah. a lot when you ask. Yes, it's true. You learn a lot when you ask. Something if you're interested in people. What's something people get wrong about you? <laughs> that I'm happy. That you're happy? Uh-huh. You're not happy. Not really. Not a happy person. How can you be happy? Just yeah. when I understood what life was about, it was almost over. What's happy about that? No, I I'm see. not happy. I, I, wouldn't even, I don't even know how to spell it. Two Ps or one. <laughs> I asked the great lawyer, Edward Bennett Williams, who was a dear friend. Yes. Are you optimistic or pessimistic? Mm -hmm. He said, of course I'm pessimistic. I'm smart. <laughs> Thank God I answered it right. <laughs> <laughs> what should we be paying more attention to? The disenfranchised, the poor, and definitely health and med medical help. Something, is there something you long believed to be true and realize wasn't? Life is short. Life is so short, Larry. It's so short. What is it? We're going to be dust. It's a blip. It's a blip and with a lot of pain and a few and laughs. You don't believe in an afterlife. So the thought of not existing. Oh, it's horrifying. Drives me crazy. Horrifying. Not to be. Not but look at it this way. This is how I try to calm myself. A hundred years ago, you weren't. That don't help me. Doesn't help you? No. Well, you're famous, that's why. But if you're a non-entity no. kind of, it's okay because you never were. You never are, and you oh, never yeah, will you be. Famous. Stop. No, no, I'm You've not changed. famous. No, but you walk down the street, people say, Larry yeah. King. I walk down the street, they say, excuse me, or they bump into but me. But you wanted that. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah.
Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.